Hello, I am Mohan Jilal, a farmer. I live here with my children and a supporting wife. We own a small plot of two-acre agricultural land where we cultivate cotton. Life has not been so easy for us. Since previous years, our fields have been getting infested with ball worms, which are destroying our cotton crop. This year, we have been working extra hard and giving more sprays of pesticides to save our crops. I wonder how relaxing and assuring it would be if my crops are fully pest-free this year. Finally, I would be able to save for my family's future. These pests have damaged more than half of my crops, much more than they did last year, even though I gave more sprays against ballworm. Our entire work and money on seeds, fertilizers, water and pesticides has gone down the drain. Mohan, our fields are mostly damaged. Let's immediately go to the village heads and discuss our problem with them. Our cotton crops have been suffering from ballworm infestation and they eat away healthy crops and destroy the produce. Farmers like us have incurred heavy losses in spite of all efforts. Everyone, calm down. Maybe if we consult a scientific expert about this problem, then we may find a solution. Welcome, I am Dr. Patil an agricultural scientist. Doctor, we are facing the increasing problem of ballworm infestation even after increasing the usage of pesticides. Okay, first let me explain something about the pests and the pesticides. While pesticides do kill these pests, but with repeated application over the years, the pests develop resistance to the pesticides, which makes them ineffective. This is true for any pesticide used against any pest, including for example, the malaria-causing mosquito. But luckily, scientific advancement has provided a new solution against ballworm. Look, these are Bt seeds, which look like any other seed. These are nothing but technically advanced GM seeds, which are capable of fighting the ballworm, saving the cotton crop from pest damage. Let me further elaborate on the use of GMO seeds and their benefit. All the organisms in this world possess small structures called genes that determine their characteristics like shape, size, color, etc. Bt seeds have been modified by adding a new gene that enables cotton plant to resist ball worm attack. This gene is taken from a bacterium living in soil called Bacillus thuringiensis Bt Bt bacterium is known for a long time to kill some pests and it is used as sprays on crops. The gene which provides the property of killing ballworm is inserted in the plant using the genetic engineering technique, much different from conventional breeding involving cross-pollinations. The only difference in the cultivation of GM and non-GM crops is that you need a strip of non-BT seeds around the BT fields. This is called refuge. It prevents the insects from becoming resistant to BT and eating the BT plants. This area can be subjected to insecticide sprays as recommended. By adopting BT seeds, your insecticide consumption will decrease considerably. But you need to use insecticides for other pests as Bt crop is not resistant to every insect and pest. For best results, follow measures such as need-based application of insecticide sprays for other pests and adopt good cultural practices like keeping the field clean of cotton stubble and crop leftovers and ploughing of land after harvest so that the resting stages of the insects in the soil get destroyed. Are these seeds expensive? Yes, 
but the seeds will give you 40 to 50 percent more production and reduce insecticide use by 30 to 40 percent, which will make your cultivation more profitable. Doctor, I have one more question. Can eating Bt cotton leaves affect our cattle? No. The Bt toxin specifically attacks ballworms and related insects. No other animal including cattle, sheep, goats or humans are affected by it. Also, some people believe that there is something like the terminator gene present in the GM plants, which makes the plant unable to produce fertile seed. But that is completely not true. I hope all your doubts are cleared. Yes, doctor. Thank you on behalf of all the farmers for an insight into BT crops. We are much more hopeful now. Plants have started attaining height with healthy flowers and fruits. Thanks to BT seeds, there is no sign of any infestation. Fortunately, this time we have much better harvest. All of us are so happy. Thanks to Dr. Patil, after a very long time, we finally had an educative and fruitful experience. Today, our village seems beautiful and abundant with lush, healthy fields. Oh look, Dr. Patil is here. I just came to see your happy faces. But I must tell you that though this technology is very useful, it is not a magic wand and cannot solve all the pest and disease problems afflicting cotton. Kindly remain updated with the latest developments and also use BT seeds with proper refuge. And let's hope that your village stays as abundant and beautiful as it looks now.